Hello friends, this is Ishwa here and in this video let us see the review of iOS 1.4 developer beta 4 on the iPhone 5s so let it finish downloading and then I will meet you soon so here it is starting to install it was about 280 MB of download and let us wait for the installation to complete and let us then review the Geekman scores as well as some whether the UI is fast so here it is the iPhone 5s has 1.4 developer beta 4 is updated so let's just unlock it mm, let's just swipe through the OS for a few minutes and let me time lapse it for you so let's just jump into settings and get into general and about and let me show you that I have just updated so the capacity is Available capacity is 4.62 GB right now and the version is 12.4 and here's the version number So let me get back and get into the battery section And let me see if Apple has added any Nothing is being added by Apple for the iPhone 5s Let's just jump into Geekbench scores And let me show you that the iOS 1.4 developer beta 3 history is available with me so after checking the Geekbench score of this OS uh, we can just easily compare with them so here is it let me get into CPU and this is the score on IS 1.4 developer beta 3 so let us just run the CPU benchmark and after it is complete I will meet you soon so let me tell you that the uh, speed is overall smoother as I have tested right now uh, just uh, I just tinkered over the OS and it has been pretty much smooth for this iPhone 5 s so it is good enough to use iOS 11 on this iPhone 5 s from now so I think the uh, coming up betas will improve it much more and we can see greater performances on the iPhone 5 s and I am also expecting some battery improvements maybe because this battery performance is not as good as iOS 10 so here it is the Geekbench results is complete and let us compare this with the previous version of iOS 1.4 that is the beta 3 let us get into history it is 1224 in the previous version in the single score score and let us get into benchmark and it is 1089 so it has been a downgrade what I'm saying is the benchmark scores are not that great but the smoothness I'm experiencing is much more greater I would say that iPhone 5 is, is still usable on I, iOS 11 not not like the iPhone 4s on the iOS 9 and uh, iOS 12 is just around the corner it is going to release soon but I don't know how it's uh, how it is going to support I, iPhone 5 s maybe it won't even support iPhone 5 s but if it supports iPhone 5 s then it's a great thing and there will be more improvements on iPhone 5 s in the stability stability criteria and performance will also improve might it might also improve so that's it that's all I could say about the iPhone 5 s and I will also do the future betas on the iOS 11 and whatever update comes I will just uh, do a video on it on the iPhone 5 s so that's it if you could understand and this is Ishwar living for the moment thank you for watching have a great day bye